it's candle day eve and i'm so excited i can't go to sleep it's 12 21 the countdown is on i wish i could get the amount of candles as much as my husband snores good morning happy candle day happy vlogmas day seven i just woke up i'm ready to go get these candles i need to do some quick inventory and then i'm gonna head home I feel like I need a drink, not an alcoholic beverage. I just mean tea. All right, got my tea, and now I'm gonna go take some inventory. Um, if you have not seen my top 10 favorite Bath & Body Works candles for the Christmas holiday time, go check that out after this video because uh, it might prompt you to go to candle day if you haven't already. So I'm looking at my inventory to see what I might need a candle day, just taking a little look. I feel like I want to exchange some things. That way it would save my budget some. I didn't love this, so I might exchange this. But I will definitely have a candle day collection coming up in January. I feel like I need some lavender spray to calm myself before I walk out the door. Calm. I'm calm for this candle day. Okay, Stormy. I'll be back with a bunch of candles. We can watch Christmas movies. Okay, bye. Okay, let's chit-chat on my way down there. I'm going to a new Bath & Body Works today because the one in Santa Monica is actually a lot larger and it is a white barn as well, which usually means it's a lot bigger than the one that I was going to in the Beverly Center. Also wanted to show you the two candles that I'm exchanging. I love pumpkin pie on cold. It smells so good, but burning it, it gets this weird smell that I'm just not into. And then toffee brittle, absolutely obsessed with the packaging from last year but I'm just not digging the smell, so I don't think I'm gonna burn it, it's unburned. So I'm gonna exchange these for two that I want today. So those of you who are just tuning in and don't know what Candle Day is, Candle Day is a once a year Candle Day sale that is for $9.50 this year. The price changes every single year. And if you aren't familiar with Bath & Body Works, Bath & Body Works does limited edition candles on this day. And also a lot of their candles that they bring out each year, it doesn't mean that they're gonna be back next year. So they play a game with us and basically we're crazy and we play the game right back and we just hoard certain candles that we love the fragrance to because we're so afraid that they're not going to release it they're genius they know what they're doing they're not idiots we're the idiots who fall for the game also guys the subscribe button is actually not on sale today it's free so it would mean the world to me if you clicked it okay the camera was too loud on the dashboard but last night i was having the weirdest dreams okay i was at a red light now i'm not so hands back on the wheel um i was having the weirdest dreams ever last night i dreamt that we were staying in a victorian airbnb and all the candle reviewers that i watched were in this airbnb and ryan and i were staying in this haunted room and i kept getting like ghosts coming to try to steal the candles that were in my room that weren't released yet i don't know why they were in my room but i was like supposed to watch over them and i kept getting people like popping up into my room and i'm like back off like these are my candles i am and then when they were released, I didn't get any. I literally received zero candles and I was just seeing like all these familiar faces from YouTube. I'm like, what's going on? And they're like, you just weren't quick enough. You weren't quick enough. You should have gone at this time and you woke up late. So then I woke up on time and now I'm late. I'm like 30 minutes behind, but whatever. I'm just, I'm not gonna feel pressured. I'm just gonna live my life. I'm gonna get the candles that are available. I may get to a second store we'll see but i do have a plan of attack so what my plan is is i'm gonna go in and i'm just gonna start grabbing candles left and right that catch my fancy put it in my bag and then when i have everything that i really want then i'll do like a sniff test if i'm not quite sure how something smells and then go from there because if it is crowded i'm just not gonna i'm not gonna deal with these people that are crazy the candle community is crazy I will try to vlog it, but I cannot promise any promises because we all know Bath & Body Works. If you watched my last Shop With Me videos, they kept telling me that there's this new policy, you can't film in there, and I don't know what they're talking about because I see all these people on YouTube filming in their Bath & Body Works. This is a new one, so we'll see. Love the angle. Hey, hopefully you can't see any boogers in my nose because that would not be cute. 
So I do have a few gifts in mind that I want to get for people. And then as for the fall candles, fall, the sales are really not that great. And they kind of are the same scents every single year. I mean, there are a few that are new. I definitely want to stock up on the scents that I know for sure that I'm going to want next year, aka like peanut brittle love that one so that is like my my go-to plan i want to try to get some of the limited editions the crispy marshmallow bar if that smells good the blueberry sugar donut oh my gosh did you see sense galore's videos of the lines for a candle day it's honestly a national holiday at this point it's crazy it's like black friday well it's bright and early at third street promenade i have my marion bright shirt on because that is what i will stay if this place is hectic Oh, girl, you already got your candles. Good for you. I'm on my way. <laughs> so outdoor malls to me were just the coolest thing and still the coolest thing to me ever. Look how pretty that tree is. There's palm trees next to the Christmas tree. Still weird to me. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going to be having a problem on candle day. It's vacant. There's no one here. Wow. First come, first serve. You guys, I'm just leisurely walking into Bath and Body Works. No one is pushing me. Oh, are these for sale? I thought these were for me to take, to put candles in. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I see old candles too. Oh, gooey marshmallow, please be here. All right. See, there's old candles here. Do I see anything I need? Ooh, Ryan really wants this one. So I'm gonna snag this one for him, the cinnamon Irish cream. Oh, he's gonna be so happy. <gasps> There's a pumpkin patch. Oh my gosh, please have gooey marshmallow. Strawberry pound cake, guys. This one is a rare find. I'm gonna have to see what else they have. Oh, this is exciting. I I'm thrilled. <gasps> I see the gooey marshmallow lid, is it? No, it's not. It's blueberry sugar, dang it. Uh oh, someone just broke a candle. Candle party foul. Okay, so the only limited edition one I'm seeing right now is the unicorn sprinkles, which I've never smelled, so let's smell it together. Since I can take my time because clearly no one is here. This is nothing special. I don't need that. Pass. Oh my gosh, Jackie, look what I found. Butterscotch toffee. I need to smell it. Never smelled it. Mmm, it's nice. I don't think I need it though, but I'm gonna text you and see if you want it. So I just asked the sales associate if they had the blueberry sugar donut and the cereal marshmallow bar, and they said that people were here at 6.50 and they just bought them all. So those are probably the people who buy a whole bunch and then resell them, so dang it. Well, 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 look what I just found. Strawberry pound cake and blueberry sugar donut. Let's see if cereal marshmallow bar is anywhere to be found. You haven't seen that time. New packaging, super cute. It's from the old first label of this candle and they came out with that pretty snowflake lid that they did last year. Okay, round one and one of my favorite Christmas songs is on right now. All right, Bath and Body Works, it's been real. I'm gonna go off to my next store. They open at 10 o'clock, and I'm just on a mission to find a gooey marshmallow. And then if they don't have anything, oh my gosh, hold on, I gotta tell you something. So I used the 20% off email coupon, and the girl was like, I'm so sorry, but this actually expires, and she couldn't honor it, and I'm like, dang it. And then she was so kind, so shout out to you at Santa Monica. Whoever helped me out, thank you so much because you gave me a 20% off coupon, which really knocked down my candles. So I so appreciate it because this would have gotten super pricey. Okay guys, we are back at home. I got my haul, I got 11 candles. I went into the store saying I'm not gonna spend more than $100. I brought a $100 bill in and that was it. And I actually put a few candles back. I put a saltwater taffy back. I put a chocolate lava, no, not a chocolate lava cake. I couldn't find chocolate lava cake. I really wanted that one. Um, well, Ryan really wanted it, so I wanted it for him. Um, I put back a vampire's blood. I don't need these. I don't need any of these candles, honestly. 
and I can use that money that I ended up not spending and put it into my savings account. So I still got to spend, I still got to get some fun items and go shopping and the whole experience is really fun and worth the money. So I'm not complaining about spending money because I know that it's my choice, but um, I'm proud of myself for the purchases I did make. I could have, I could have done some more damage if I really wanted to, but again, I'm budgeting here. I'm learning. I'm learning. So I want to show you if I can. Oh, it's heavy. Candles are heavy. I got the bag. Stormy's laying on the bed with me. It's really nice. I can reuse it if I want to. I just have to say, I just want to make one comment before we go into the candles that I got. I'm kind of getting frustrated with Bath and Body Works because I don't think that many people are getting coupons in the mail and you cannot do coupons online and that's not candles are very expensive once they're done they're done it's not like clothes where you can rewear them and I know it's everyone's conscious choice to pay for candles but I just feel like Bath and Body Works is making so much money especially the last two years and the fact that they're getting stingy about coupons and you know how many you can use or not sending them out to people it's just it's getting ridiculous and then the price increase come on guys like i know that you you're playing a game with the sense and all that but when you start messing with people's i totally get that a company needs to look out for themselves but at the same time i think there's something great to say for companies or restaurants or wherever you go that give you a free cookie i know they give you the free rewards but you have to spend so much money sorry stormy just jumped off the bed you have to spend so much money in order to get those two free little rewards um yeah, so I, I didn't go super crazy. I only got 11 candles. To some people, that's a lot of candles. To others, that's very little. It depends on who you are. So I'm going to start picking and pulling things out and talking about them. First thing I got was, ooh, I had to get a cider lane because I got a little nervous when I saw that it was an online only. And I'm thinking, well, are they not going to bring it back anymore? Because this is one of the most popular candles. I was so confused. So I had to pick up a cider lane. I love this packaging too. This was from last year. Warm caramel, granny smith apple, dark brown sugar, and clove. It is just so yummy. I love that one. Then I picked up Ryan's favorite, the cinnamon Irish cream. This to me smells like hot cocos and cream, the lava cake. So I didn't feel that bad I didn't get lava cake, but Ryan really wanted it. So I think they smell the same. To him, it's different. The fragrance notes on this candle are cinnamon spice liqueur, Irish cream, and French vanilla. I picked up a cherry mocha. I've been eyeing the cherry mocha. I really like cherry scents. I don't like overly sugary. Like I'd like cherry frost. Um, but it's a little strong and I do have a I have two firecracker pops So I decided to pass on cherry frost this year because it comes back every year The fragrance notes are sweet cherry decadent chocolate and whipped cream And I like it. There's something about it. That's just very cozy to me And I love the lid you guys the lid is so cute and you can definitely repurpose this I'm not sure how I'm gonna repurpose these lids. I have a few ideas up my sleeve. Maybe I will make a video on it if you want to see it. I picked up a strawberry pound cake only because I just feel like maybe, maybe my sniffer will change over time and I will truly love this candle. So I thought I would absolutely love it because I love it on cold. It smells so good on cold. It's kind of blueberry pie-ish to me, um, but when I burned it, I had such a bad headache the last two times I had burned it. So I just wasn't feeling it. But then I saw it and you just, when you get the candle day itch and you're all excited, you just start grabbing things. So I did pick one up. On cold, it really does smell good. So there's that. Another thing I wanna talk about is packaging. So I did get a summer boardwalk because I love summer boardwalk. So I've been watching other people's hauls. And what I've noticed is that people say, oh, I'm never going to burn this candle because I love the packaging and I don't know if people know this. I mean, I don't think it's brain science, but if you love the packaging of something and that is making you not want to burn a candle, which is the whole point, like you get a candle to burn it, you should enjoy it. I do understand you not burning a candle if the scent is not coming back. The packaging itself is salvageable. All you have to do, you burn through your candle, you pop out that wax, you clean it. 
Then you buy another summer boardwalk. That's an ugly packaging. You put it in the freezer, you pop up that wax, you pop it in here, and then you burn. People overspend sometimes because they're so like pressed on packaging. Whereas like, I don't know, I do understand though because my blueberry pie, I love that packaging from this year with the luminary, but my label kept peeling off, so that is a bummer, but I did buy it because I wanna see it glowing when it's burning. So I don't know, that's just my little spiel on that too. The next container, I got the perfect Christmas. I exchanged this for my toffee brittle, and then I got another one, which I exchanged for my other candle. I love this candle. The perfect Christmas is fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, Sugar and toasted marshmallow. Still never found that gooey marshmallow. If any of you guys have a gooey marshmallow out there that you don't feel attached to, please send it my way. You would be a doll. I got marshmallow fireside because I did think this packaging was really cute and I can always use more marshmallow fireside. I love that candle. That's pretty much the only candle I burn in January and February. The Fragrance notes are toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, and fire roasted vanilla with crystallized amp. Look how cute that little penguin guy is. He's just warming up near the fire. So sweet. The little snowflakes sparkling. I just love this packaging. So, so cute. And then it has that pretty lid on top. ASMR. Oh, I picked up a snow mountain lodge. I've never smelled this one before, and I'm digging it. It smells so good. Um, again, this might be a good, I think Christmas candle, but January, February, I might go back and forth between Marshmallow Fireside with this one. Smoked embers, silver pine, and sandalwood. It's very mass, I don't want to say the word masculine because I don't want to put genders on things, but it's very bold. That's the word. It's very bold, the scents that come through in here. It's kind of crisp like that winter candle. Oh, I really wanted to find a Yuletide so badly. Couldn't find it. I found a million and ten winter candles in different packagings, but Yuletide. But I really like this one, and this is the packaging for the front. Nothing too special. The last two I got were a caramel apple because I burn this every single year. I felt like it was the strongest. It didn't smell as waxy as it did this year. This year had a kind of a weird smell when it got halfway through. But this one is so good. It's so strong. Sometimes I think it's better than Cider Lane. And some of you may disagree and that's okay. It is your opinion and you are entitled to it. The last candle that I got was... The limited edition sugared blueberry donut. I could not find cereal marshmallow, which I'm actually not mad about because people are just saying it smells like Fruity Pebbles. I have the key lime pie. People say it smells different, that there's more lime in the other one, but I don't really care. If I don't know what I don't know, then to me, Fruity Pebbles is key lime pie. So um, I did pick this one up just because I did see it and I, I didn't get the strawberry shortcake or strawberry pound cake in that packaging just because, I don't know. I feel like sometimes when new things come out, they just smell off. So I just went with the old tried and true. So if you don't know, Sugar Blueberry Donut is the limited edition one that everyone was searching for. Fresh picked blueberries, glazed donut, and sugar cane crystals. So is this blueberry pie? No, it is not blueberry pie if you've yet to go out there yet and you're trying to figure out if you need this or not. If you have blueberry pie, I don't think this is necessary. This kind of smells like the blueberry shortcake lotion that they have there. But to me, this really just smells like a cake donut you might pick up at your local donut shop or something, but it's not strong. But the great thing about Bath & Body Works is this it doesn't burn well, I will just exchange it. All right, guys, well, that's a wrap for candle day. One and done. I went to the second store and it just kind of sucked. So I didn't buy any other candles there, I guess until next year, right? So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below what you found, what you're hoping to find, what your favorite find was. Just, just comment. I feel like chatting today. So Leave a comment down below and I will see you guys in my next video. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I'm very active on there. So be sure to follow me there. My Instagram is at Kaylee G Davis. I will leave it down in the description box. Okay, bye guys.